12 News is your local election headquarters. It's primary day for Rhode Island voters living in the 1st Congressional District. That includes communities in the northeast part of the state, as well as Providence, Pawtucket, the East Bay, and Aquidneck Island. Rhode Island has one open seat in Congress up for grabs. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Today, voters get to decide which Democrat or Republican they'd like to see move on to the general election in November. Polls are open until 8 o'clock. And we have team coverage. Tim White is standing by with a look at voter turnout so far. But first 12 News caught up with some of the candidates as they cast their ballots. Gets right, let's get right to Sheena Loshuto, who is live in Providence. Sheena? Well, we caught up with four of the candidates today as they were casting their vote. They tell us they feel that excitement in the air. However, they are anxiously waiting for those results to come in in really just a few hours now. Take one look at the number of campaign signs and you'll see it's a crowded race. 13 candidates are looking to fill the seat in the first congressional district recently vacated by David Cicilline. 11 are Democrats. You'll notice some familiar faces here and these are the two Republicans on the ballot. Only one from each party can move on to the general election. You look amazing. 12 News spoke to four of the Democrats as they were voting themselves Tuesday, each going to a polling location before noontime. Yeah, good morning, Spending the rest of their day talking to voters, trying to secure that support. Rhode Islanders really deserve someone that is going to represent them, that is committed to Rhode Island. But we also need to make sure we have a congressperson who can do the work of bringing home the resources. We're excited to, to be in this race, and, and if I were elected, I'd be It'd be an honor to, to, to work and fight to continue David Cicilline's legacy. The first thing I tell to voters and the first thing that voters do is to vote for someone that represents their values and the things that they believe on. And these are the two Republicans, political newcomer and Marine Corps veteran Gary Leonard and Terry Flynn, who describes herself as a small business owner. She's also previously served on the Middletown Town Council. And in a crowded race like this one, every single vote matters. The candidates realize that themselves. Tim White is live for us also in Providence. And Tim, how is the turnout looking so far this year? Hi, Sheena. Well, as you said, this is a special election, so the predicted turnout was going to be low, and so far the numbers are bearing that out. We are live inside Temple Bethel on the east side of Providence, and there has been a steady stream of voters going into the hall behind me to cast their vote, but as you can see, there is no wait to do that. Now, the numbers, the latest numbers from the Rhode Island Secretary of State as of 4 o'clock show just over 30,000 people, or just 8% of registered voters in the 1st Congressional District have cast a ballot. Special elections are not known for drawing a lot of voters to the polls, even in a race as high profile as U.S. Congress. As a congressperson, you are, um, you know, you're really in a bigger arena. And I voted today along with my wife, uh, as everybody else should. There are nearly 340,000 registered voters in Rhode Island's 1st Congressional District, but 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming says he won't be surprised if only about 10% of them cast a ballot. Do you still sticking around prediction 30,000? I think somewhere between 30 and 40,000 saying all along. It could change, but right now it looks that way. And think about all that, right. Tim. 10,000 people might decide who the next congressperson is from Rhode Island for potentially a decade. More than 10,000 people voted early or with mail ballots. If you don't vote, then what's the point in having it? Those who showed up to the polls on Tuesday acknowledged with such a low turnout, their vote has more weight. Uh, we only have two congressional districts here in Rhode Island, so your vote has great impact, and uh, there's a long list of candidates, so I think it's time to call the herd. Again, because this is a special election, there aren't many recent primaries to compare this one to, but in 2012, when David Cicilline faced a, a Democratic challenger, 47,000 people voted in the primary that year. Political observers say they would be surprised if we got that high today. Live in Providence, Tim White, 12 News.